Freedom Daily News. Trump drops everything in Arizona and quietly slips off, spectators shocked when they see where he showed up. As President Donald J. Trump was preparing to speak at the Phoenix, Arizona last night, he did something that showed, beyond any shadow of a doubt, what kind of president and patriotic American he really is. It was reported throughout the non-liberal mainstream media that hours before heading to Phoenix, President Trump quietly made a stop at the border city of Yuma, Arizona. There he took a pause from his hectic schedule in order to meet with America's finest. The U.S. Marines at Marine Corps Air Station in Yuma, Arizona. As you can clearly see, although the hacks in the left-wing media and the George Soros-funded Antifa thugs are in the middle of a campaign trying to convince us that the military is against Trump, these Marines clearly couldn't wait to meet and talk to him. They welcomed President Trump like the rock star that he is. In contrast, we just had eight years of a president, Barack Hussein Obama, where most all active military officers believed they were despised and hated by our commander-in-chief. 30 Most Disrespectful Acts by Obama Towards Our Military 30. Looking past all his civilian aides to order a Marine to hold an umbrella over his head like a butler for an entire speech at the Rose Garden, in violation of military regulations. 29. Forcing race baiting class warfare propaganda, extreme PC sensitivity measures, and gay pride month on soldiers. 28. Taking credit for the success of the surge he opposed in Iraq. 27. Taking credit for the success of the interrogation policies he opposed that located Osama bin Laden. 26. Skipping the funeral of the highest ranking officer to be killed on foreign soil in over 40 years, Major General Harold J. Green, to play golf. 25. Smearing veterans as potential domestic terrorists. 24. Trying to make wounded veterans cover their own medical treatment through private health insurance plans, which would inevitably end up increasing their out of pocket costs. 23. Blaming our troops for the Taliban attacking them. For everything from objecting to pedophilia and advocating women's rights, to not wearing latex gloves while handling Qurans and walking in front of Muslims while they are praying. 22. Rushing in to misrepresent the Fort Hood massacre that killed 13 soldiers, one whom was pregnant, as mere workplace violence. 21. Giving captured terrorists at Gitmo, who are drenched in soldiers' blood, a $750,000 soccer field, cable TV, entertainment, classes in painting, etc., while stripping away benefits for soldiers at every turn. 20 ordering federal agencies to make the sequester cuts as painful as possible for the American people, which ended up cutting tuition assistance for soldiers and increasing other college costs for the armed forces across the board. 19. Denying veterans from all over the country access to the World War II memorial in Washington over a staged government shutdown while allowing illegal immigrants to hold a political rally on closed federal grounds. 18. Cutting military health care benefits and pensions while increasing spending on unionized federal bureaucrats, Obama voters. 17. Ignoring a former Marine frivolously imprisoned in Mexico on trumped-up weapons charges. 16. Using soldiers to help a terror-sponsoring dictator fight off outraged civilian protesters. 15. Purging the military of oath-keeping constitutionalists. 14. Imposing draconian cuts to the things we are actually supposed to be spending tax dollars on under the Constitution, like the military, while exploding spending on things the federal government has no authority to even be involved in, like Obama's trillion dollar health care takeover. 13. Silencing and criminalizing Christianity in the military. 12. Banning time proven interrogation techniques and insisting on treating foreign terrorists as mere common criminals to be tried in American courts, as civilians. 11. Suppressing military votes. 10. Imposing ludicrous rules of engagement on our troops that have needlessly gotten many soldiers killed. 9. Appeasing our enemies, backing down after drawing red lines in the sand, betraying our allies 
and dismantling our missile defenses. All of which needlessly endangers our troops. 8. Cutting troops down to pre World War II levels, and then allowing illegal immigrants into the military. 7. Allowing veterans to die on secret waiting lists at VA hospitals all over the country, after being warned about the manipulated numbers and obscene delays in care. Welcome to Universal Health Care, back in 2008. 6. Abandoning three decorated veterans and a U.S. ambassador to be dragged through the streets and tortured to death by bloodthirsty Islamic savages in Benghazi, and then falsely blaming it on Americans having the right to disagree with Islam in public. 5. Releasing numerous terrorists back onto the streets so they could return and attack our soldiers including one who ended up becoming the leader of ISIS. 4. Releasing five major terrorist leaders to appease the Taliban into releasing one America-hating deserter. 3. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory in Iraq while handing Afghanistan back to the Islamic fundamentalists who facilitated 9-11, the Taliban. 2. Openly funding and arming Islamic terrorists. 1. Endlessly trampling the constitution that soldiers are sworn to defend and attacking the rights they fight, bleed, and die to protect. Obama did in fact insult and disrespect the military, as did Bill Clinton when he was president. Both rapist Bill and crooked Hillary constantly treated their military guards as nothing more than just hired servants to be trampled on. Reports of former Marines who were assigned duty with the Clintons and with the Obamas have stated that both families were very harsh and unfriendly to them. They even went as far as to agree that they treated all military people with obvious disdain and contempt. If you recall, it was President Clinton who started closing a number of military bases in the U.S., and Obama actually cut their funding and went as far as to try to disarm them unless they were in active combat situations. situations.